when my book, The Energy Non-Crisis, came out, there was a chapter in there that alluded to Gull Island, the first edition. This is a new, updated, and enlarged edition. Just after it came out, I had a phone call, maybe two or three months after it came out, from who do you think? Mr. Ken Fromm. The man who was responsible under Atlantic Richfield's leadership to develop the entire east side of the Prudhoe Bay oil field, I have never heard an oil man so mad in my life. He was beside himself. He said, Lindsay, Atlantic Richfield has just fired me. I said, what? You're a career man. You're the, you're the head person. You, you're the senior executive for the development of the oil field. You produce the cracking plant up there at Prudhoe for all the oil up and down the line. You know more about the Prudhoe Bay oil field than anybody. You came up on the first roller cons that came up years ago. He said, yes, but Atlantic Richfield just fired me. I said, why, Ken? Because he said, They've come to realize that I was the one that allowed you to see the information that you wrote in your book, The Energy Non Crisis. Now he said, Lindsay, you're a missionary, a minister. You're not an oil patch man. And he said, there are a few things in your book that are not lutter perfect. He said, would you allow me, he said, I'm so angry at Atlantic Richfield, would you allow me to rewrite your book for you? and make everything lutter perfect? I said, Ken, I can't think of anything any better. Because he said, they're going to try to discredit your book on the grounds of a few words that aren't right. For the next 30 days' time, Ken Fromm and I sat across the table from each other and rewrote this book, The Energy Non-Crisis, and he added a chapter. The only place on the face of this earth that you will find recorded the largest pool of oil in North America and probably the largest on the face of the earth that our president and our vice president who are oil men know about and will not tell you the facts. The only place on the face of the earth you'll find it documented, written word for word. They've never been able to question it, nor in any way say that it's incorrect, because Ken Fromm himself wrote it. The consistency of the oil, the perforations of the pipe, the depth of the feel, the pressure of the feel, the, the uh, sulfur content, where it can be refined, it's all right here. The only place you'll find it on the face of the earth. Well, this new updated and enlarged edition came out, thanks to Ken Fromm. About a month or two later, I had another call from him. He said, well, chaplain, I'm glad I helped you rewrite your book. He said, at Lank Richfield has just hired me back. <laughs> They've given me a large increase of pay. They've promised me a bigger retirement. They're sending me to to Houston to train all the executives that come to Prudhoe Bay from this point on. He said, I won't be able to give you inf any more information. He didn't have to. He had given me enough. Because if the oil, watch me now, you need to take this to heart because I'm going to make some very drastic statements in a few moments. You think I've said something so far. I haven't said anything that you've ever heard me say before. Because I've only begun giving this in the last six months. I decided I could not keep quiet any longer because your and my freedom is in jeopardy. And unless something is done, America is going to be a has-been. Gasoline at the gas pump, one year from now, here in California, could be less than one dollar and fifty cents a gallon if the oil that our president and vice president know about on the north slope of Alaska were allowed to come to the refineries in America you know what it cost them to get a barrel of oil, a barrel of oil out of the ground at Prudhoe Bay Alaska do you have the slightest idea what it cost Saudi Arabia to get a barrel of oil out of the ground? 
Well, I hope you have pencils and paper handy because now I begin with some real nitty-gritty. And you may want to jot down some facts and some figures because either things are changed with the administration in Washington, D.C. within the next few months or America will be a has-been. Gasoline at the gas pump in California is going to be 4 to $5 a gallon in the very near future. How do I know? Well, what I'm to say from this point on, you will know that I know what I'm talking about. A little boy went to school one morning. He was down south. You know how they talk down there. I'm sure you must recognize that I have a southern accent. The little boy went to school and the teacher was going around the classroom asking each of the children what they had for breakfast that day. And little Susie spoke up and, you know, show and tell. And little Susie spoke up and said, well, ma'am, I had bacon and eggs this morning. Finally came down to the little Johnny, a little country boy from way back out on the farm. The teacher said, Johnny, what did you have for breakfast this morning? And little Johnny said, well, ma'am, I ate six biscuits for breakfast today. And the teacher said, oh, Johnny, that's not correct English. She said, the word is not it, it's ate. He said, well, maybe it was ate I ate. Now, I'm going to make you a promise. What I have to say from this point on is not going to be a play on words. I'm going to tell it as Paul Harvey says, the rest of the story that you don't hear in the news, that only a person who sat in the board meetings with these people, sat across the table from them, rubbed shoulders with them for three years, could have ever known. Things that I have not been willing to tell for the past 15 years for fear of my own safety. I've decided I cannot keep quiet any longer. So I hope you have those pencils and papers handy. In the early 60s, crude oil was chosen as the method of controlling the world. It affects every human being. There's only one thing that affects every human on the face of this earth. The toothbrush that you're going to use to brush your teeth with tonight is made out of plastic. Where does it come from? Crude oil. The plastic bag in the garbage can that you put in your, that you have in your kitchen, it comes from crude oil. The asphalt highway that you drove on in order to get here to this meeting tonight, it came from crude oil. The drugstore, the drugs that you buy, many of them come from crude oil. The shoes that you wear, more than likely they aren't leather. They're probably plastic. It came from crude oil. The polyester clothes that you're wearing, they are a product of crude oil. The price at the grocery store and the hardware store, it's going up because of the price of crude oil. My son and I went to the grocery store the other day. I keep very meticulous records. After all, I have to. Being in the business I'm in, if I didn't, was not a meticulous person, I wouldn't be able to write the books I'd wrote. And I keep records of what I pay at the grocery store for things. When I went to the grocery store the other day, every single item, without exception, had gone up from the previous week. My son and Ed, I had to go to the hardware store and get an, an item. Daniel was kind of milling around the store in a few moments. He came over to me and he said, Daddy, you know that step ladder you had your eye on the other day that you wanted to buy, but you just didn't quite have the funds to buy it? And I said, yes. He said, you should have bought it. I said, why? He said, it's gone up $19. Now, please write this one down because it carries great weight with what I'm going to say tonight. What we pay at the gas pump is a form of taxation. 